how's everybody doing today? I hope you all are well. As you can tell, I've got something brand new for my YouTube channel and it's something I've wanted to do for a long time. Just get myself a little trials bike. I think it can really help keep your balance in check and it can also help improve your riding and your physical, you know, it's, it's very physical, there's no sitting. So I got myself one of these, um, I'm not sure when I'm going to post this video, but it was a couple weeks ago, so this is about my, I think it's my third good ride on it. I'd say I'm a little better than a beginner, but not much, maybe novice, I'm not sure. Anyways, so. Let me know if you guys dig trials stuff and I'll definitely add this into a regular thing on my YouTube channel. I'm quite excited about it as you're going to see. Um, why a trials bike? I guess it's pretty obvious. I mean most of the top riders like you know Jarvis and pretty much all those top riders all came from the trials background so that's kind of why I wanted one of these and I've already got a pretty good collection of motorbikes so I'm pretty lucky that way. But I didn't have one of these and I've wanted one for a while. So, yeah, I hope you guys dig it. Let me know uh, what you think in the comments. So, you guys, I hope you guys are all doing well. This might come as a bit of a shocker. As you can see here, I got the little trials bike. It seems kind of weird to do a vlog on a trials bike. There's not really somewhere to put the mic. You know, it's clipped onto my jersey right now. But I thought I'd give it a go anyways. I don't think really too many people do that on YouTube, so it's nice to have something different. And I wanted to get up here on this little bike and give some of this stuff a bit of a try. I'm a total beginner at this stuff. I mean, you've seen my other videos. I'm a decent rider, but on a trials bike, everything's, everything's a little bit trickier. But they sure are fun, you guys. I gotta tell ya. You can see there's some flat rock and nice rock everywhere is for a trials bike, so perfect kind of place for a beginner trials rider like myself. So yeah, I'm definitely finding it interesting. You know, it's it's not like the enduro bike in any way, shape, or form. You know, it's like I guess if I had to describe it, it's kind of like my enduro bike and my uh, motocross bike like you know it's like a motocross bike enduro bike and I guess a BMX all combined into one and it's really challenging stuff like this flat rock here is just so much fun so much fun to play on you can just hop around like look at how easy you can throw this thing around it's just so you can see how you know, it's totally going to help with your balance. I mean, I have decent balance to begin with, but, you know, for... I mean, it's going to take your riding up a level for sure. I mean, there's, there's no doubt about it. This looks like such a fun little section. All I got to do is clear that tree out. I didn't bring my chainsaw, but I was gonna. And you got that cool big roller and then a bit of a ravine to come up. Like, totally wicked spot here. But yeah, if you guys have ever considered getting something like this little, like a little trials bike, would definitely give it a, some consideration because man, they're sure fun. We were going up this on my 300, like on my two stroke. Actually, I went up on my four stroke too. Definitely require a little speed for sure. Still in the newbie stage, like I'm trying to get used to the bike, you know, what it'll do. But it's pretty friggin' impressive. What you can do with them. And when you make a mistake with them, you know, you're not falling a million miles to the, you know, you're not, you know, like, Look at how close to the ground you are. It's like a BMX here. So that's kind of what, what's cool about it. So you can try some stuff. And I, you're not going to get overly hurt. You know, it's not a long ways to fall. Unless you really get into some gnarly stuff. Like little, 
know, steep little things like this. Like it's not even, you don't even have to think about it on this bike. Like that's pretty gnarly stuff to be going up on a motorbike. What a wicked little area, I gotta tell ya. It's like perfect for this bike. Holy lots of cliffs up in here. Look at all this. Oh, look at that bedrock up here, that's beautiful. So I'll definitely be, uh, I got a couple other buddies that do this sport as well. So I think what we'll do is probably ribbon off some areas. You know, then you can kind of challenge yourself. You know, you stay within your own, within your own ribbons, I guess. Oh, beautiful. So yeah, let's give this another go here. I'm trying to get some off, off bike. Uh, shots for you guys as well. So it always looks so much better than the you know the vlogging type of video. It's kind of boring looking. Would that be first person? I guess a little camera there. That's the little RX 100, by the way, you guys. That thing takes a wicked picture and video. I still have my A6300, and I'll use it lots as well. But when you don't, when you want to pack light, man, that little camera is sure nice. Let's give this a go here. So I was doing it in second. Okay. I was giving it a little hop to get up the initial part. This wall is actually so much fun on a little Charles bike. It probably doesn't look steep here on the camera. Maybe if I go on the side angle, it'll look. Trust me, it's, it's not far off. I mean, if 90 degrees is vertical, it's probably 70 or I don't know what that would be. It's steep, let me put it that way. Pretty confident I could get up on that second ledge there and ride up in between there, but by myself, I'm not gonna try it today, but I'm definitely gonna try that here before the snow flies. I was riding up this other one pretty easy. Wicked, you guys, I have to recommend one. You know, if you guys are like me, even if you're not like me and you guys are, you know, you're kind of just getting into riding or whatever, it's a great way to advance your skills. And the thing I like about it is I've been ripping around my neighborhood with it, actually. My yard's pretty small at home and I've been in the driveway playing and it's reasonably quiet. You know, they don't have to rev to make their any power. They're just all about, they're kind of like a tank. They're just all about low lugging RPM. So it's nice you can go out in the neighborhood. I'm looking forward to this winter because I can plow with my quad, you know, areas and then build some obstacles and stuff. And it's a great way to stay in practice over the winter if it's just too gnarly to ride up here. You know, I have studs, but still, there's only so much you can do with studs. And with this, at least in the driveway, I could, you know, get some boulders and, or, you know, make some log obstacles or wood obstacles and stay in practice. So yeah, highly recommended, love it. you guys see this this is actually that bedrock I was nose wheeling down on my 300 cool is that solid bedrock let's get in there oh, oh sick look at all this bedrock after bedrock Oh my gosh, playground or what? Look at all this.
just ridges and ridges of bedrock. Yeah, I gotta get back up here with my buddies and we'll make some really cool stuff. But it's pretty easy to get the basic, you know, very basic, you know, clutch work. Like if you watch my enduro video in my lessons, my, uh, I think the very first video there, I talk, I talk about, you know, using the clutch and just going slow like this and using your balance. Like, see, you can barely even move on this thing and you're not gonna fall over. That's the kind of stuff that's invaluable on any motorcycle. It doesn't matter what you're on. Maybe I'll get good enough to try that wall one day, but it's a pretty gnarly wall. For, for my skill level anyways. I could probably use some wheelies off it though. So yeah, I appreciate you guys watching all my stuff. Make sure you drop some comments. Let me know if you dig these trials things. I don't know if it was gonna be goofy or if it was gonna be cool or I didn't know what to expect. So I guess I won't know till I get home and watch the footage, but let me know what you think in the comments below. And if you're not subscribed, definitely hit the subscribe button and hit the like button. <laughs> Check out the description below. I'll post a picture in the little drop down arrow. That's got my links to my social media and all that stuff. And I will get back to your questions. And yeah, if you dig this, let me know. I'll do some more. If not, I'll just do them once in a while. Thanks for watching, you guys.